Welcome to the Nintendo Show, episode 20. I am your co-host, Devin Moon, and with me, as always, the jam to my peanut butter, Trevor Payne. Mmm, I like some PB&J. Also, I like some peanut butter and honey. I'll tell you what, it's that sticky stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, honey honey or jam, Trev? Where do you sit? Um, definitely jam, but when I'm feeling saucy, I'll, I'll throw a little honey, you know, and send re- replacement of the jam. Now, jam versus jelly, Trev. Jam versus jelly. Is there a competition for you? Yes, it's definitely jam. It's definitely going to be a jam. Jelly's hard to spread. I, I agree. I'm not a big fan of jelly. I don't like the gelatin texture. Jam, it feels homemade. It feels like granny's, uh, granny's cooking, you know? Jam feels a little creepy to me. I don't know why. It just is. <laughs> feels creepy? Yeah, it's a little creepy to me. I don't know. Horse hooves, you know, the 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 things they say about jam. It doesn't get any better than uh, horse hoof. A little, bit of, a little bit of nail for your breakfast or whenever you're having it. Uh, lunchtime, most likely. Okay, uh, let's get into some Nintendo stuff, man. Let's do it. This week, we'll be covering the latest Nintendo rumors and betting on list versed uh, top 10 list. And uh, as always, we're going to be answering your questions, comments, concerns throughout the show. So let's get into it, Trev. Let's get into Mr. Miyamoto's magical news. There is one item on the list this week because uh, it's real, real slow out there. Let's get a direct. Speaking of directs. Recent rumors suggest that we will be receiving two Nintendo Directs this month. One of the Directs is said to be uh, solely focused on Animal Crossing, while the other will be more traditional, focusing on a variety of games coming out this year. So Mikey uh, asks, how do you two feel about these most recent Direct rumors? Do you think there could be any truth to them? Rumor time. That's what we're come down to is to the rumors. Do you think we need our direct? Should it be coming this month, Trev? What are you thinking, man? How you feeling? We need one so bad. Like, I I feel like, you know, your prediction about one coming at the end of January, start of February. uh, I I wish that came true because I am itching, dude. I'm sitting there scratching like a freaking crack addict wanting wanting some of that direct action. You know what I mean? So that being said, I really think there's some good uh, truth to this. I think that they could totally do a full direct on Animal Crossing because with that game coming up, getting everybody pumped showing them all the cool new things that are going to be in this game hopefully some cool multiplayer connectivity type stuff um and then yeah dude it's like they got to start showing some stuff that's coming out this year to get everybody hyped so i don't know what do you think dude yeah man uh, i am i just i i definitely see it coming and i know i'm gonna I, i've already said it i've already broken a lot of hearts i feel like if it's gonna come if there is two this month uh we need to see it next week or this week well, it's next week for us. You guys, we're going to get it on Tuesday. So I'm saying <laughs> you, by the time you hear this on Tuesday, you'll probably get some information that the direct is coming. I think on Tuesday, we will get information that it will be coming on Thursday. That is my that is my hope and that is my belief if there is two coming out this month. To me, it is weird to have two this month because Animal Crossing is March 23rd. So at the end of the March, it feels like March should be a direct for Animal Crossing just because it's closer to the date. So I'm a little I'm a little sure. weir- weirded out by that date time because if it was me I would have it a little bit closer. Although we know nothing about that game, absolutely nothing. Yeah, they we haven't gotten a whole lot. Yeah, it's we've got a lot of it is people like piecing things together from images and all kinds of <laughs> wild crap. Because Nintendo itself, like E3, you know, they did a, a long treehouse, but it wasn't really informative uh, to the way we think people wanted it. At least for me, I don't know much about it from what I saw. So I definitely need some information. I need to know why I want to buy this game so I could see it coming. I just don't know if it's going to be February. If it is, it's going to be the end, maybe around 28th or whatever, Thursday, yeah. late Thursday. This one, dude, I think it's either this week or there will not be two directs this because it just seems weird to have one after another you know what i mean one after another seems weird but it, it has to come in february <laughs> but we've had that we've had that we've had like a weird like multi switch roundup type situation That's uh a good honestly point. i just want any news i just want any news about anything i i'm just i, I want news Devin, dude 
hook it to my veins. Yes. If we can insert the IV and give me just a big old bag, a big old bag of that Nintendo news and just let just let it drip, dude. My veins need a slurp, you know? My veins need a big old gulp, a big gulp. <laughs> they thirsty. Like a 64 ouncer or one of those 120s <laughs> that don't fit in the cup holder at all. I need oh something gosh. like that. Come on, Nintendo. Give me that director already. Soon enough. We'll get it. Soon enough. I do believe it's coming. And again, you might you might have already heard it. You might have already heard it. Uh, so that's that. That's the news. Man, I can't believe that's all the news. That's crazy. I mean, there's other things like there is like people hating on Animal Crossing because of save states and island stuff and cloud saves and all yeah. that. Crap. All, all, all classic Nintendo. If you're not if you don't know by now, the <laughs> you don't know (laughs) now you know you know what i'm saying uh yeah that's nintendo for you guys i'm sorry oh it is a bummer it is a bummer do you have some news i do hot off the press this one just coming in oh my gosh someone just handed this to me and uh you know you want to know how hot this news is Devin? yeah give me that hotness what how hot i'm how hot i'm a play i'm playing a game from 2011 Oh man, that's how hot this news is. Dude, so I dove back into Skyrim on the Switch. Yeah, I see. I was going to say that's the game. Yep, yep. Are you oh loving my it? gosh, it is so good. Like, I forgot. So I swear I've played almost everything there is to play in that game. But every time I do go back in, I find something else. And I'm just like, how, how did I not find you? How have I not found you? I put so much time into this stupid game and I love it. And I, so, you know, when we were talking about like some of the best games of the decade or whatever, whatever uh-huh. I, we were right including skyrim in our list because holy moly that game is just amazing they do such yeah. a good job anyways hot news just want to share that little uh, gem with you if you guys didn't know skyrim good game have you played all the expansions is that the newness? yes no so i played i've played all the expansions i've done all that stuff but i i've started over on the switch when it first came out so like when uh if i first launched for the switch and i just kind of i dive back in and i just get super into it for a couple weeks and then i slow down but i go back in and every single time i find something new and it's oh dude it's just magical i can't wait for the next elder scrolls so bad Oh my gosh, I want them to make it now. Yeah, uh, they probably are, and hopefully it's coming soon. I guess we'll see. We'll see the next sweet engine, this next beast coming out on the new consoles. I'm excited too, dude. I loved hopefully Oblivion. Hopefully a little less buggy, but... <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Oblivion is amazing. One of my favorite 360 yes. games at the time. Skyrim, sadly, I didn't like... Like, I loved it, and I knew it was better than Oblivion. I just was kind of getting out of games at that point. I was feeling a little like, ah, down gotcha. on it. So I kind of was like, yeah, I'm going to have a slump here. When I, when I came back to it on the Switch, oh yeah, dude, that game's amazing. It's such a good game. So, hot off the presses, thank you for that news. Mr. Miyamoto, big fan. And Trevor, whoever handed that to you, I hope it was Mr. Miyamoto himself. Tell him thank he you. He came knocking on my front door, and I don't know, he just, honestly, like, the weird thing is, he doorbell ditched me. Like, he just straight up doorbell ditched me, but luckily I have one of those dumb ring camera things, so I caught him. Caught him in the ass. <laughs> you can't, it's the future now. You can't no hide. More you can't you hide. Can't hide. Yeah, we see you. We see you, bro. Yeah. We'll Thanks for that you. news. <laughs> He's like a leprechaun or something. You know, you gotta find that little guy. <laughs> gotta catch him and then that's where you get all the directs that's where you get all the little directs from yeah we'll be catching him real soon don't worry about it y'all So we're going to do something a little interesting here. Me and Trev are putting, uh, we're doing a little bet. We're putting some toys on the line, some collectibles, if you will. Ugh. We So Trev, uh, so it has to be under 20. Something that we enjoy enough that we will, we're, it, it breaks our heart to put on the line just a little bit because we love our collectibles. What are you going to be putting on the table today for this a little betting game that we got going on here? What are you, what are you going to give to me if I win? So I'll have you know... I am giving, I'm putting this on the line, Devin. It is my 
Shovel Knight Amiibo. Ooh. One of my best little buddies. He's a good little guy. He's been with me for a long time. Um, but that's how confident I am, Devin. I don't even know what we're doing, but I'm confident <laughs> in it. So I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm going to put him on the line. Hopefully I don't lose him. That would make me really sad. And then I'll have to go get another one. Holy crap. I feel bad about that one. That is some confidence. That is confidence. I don't know if I can like match that. I'm try. I'll try. I'll try to match it. All right. Let's uh, see what, what you got. <laughs> I got my dirty sock. Oh, sweet dude. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So what I got uh, is a, a mini fig of a hunter from Halo. Ooh, okay, okay. It's posable. It's really fun. He's uh he's 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 not huge, but he's he's real cute and he is under 20 and I think I I would be sad if he left my my uh yeah, home. Yeah. That sounds awesome. So it's not as much as the shovel knight. I feel I'm going to feel bad That's if I fine. win this, so we'll see what happens. But I think you'll enjoy this this collectible toy. Well, hot dog. Let's 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 see what see what goes on here. So there's a place called List First, and they do top ten lists. So we're gonna we're gonna play Ooh. around with this. We're gonna play around with this. So what we're gonna do is List First. They come up with these lists, right? So here's a here's an example: nine strange product placements in video games. That would be an example of a list. Then the question that okay. we have to answer is what number. So we say, what is number three on that list? So we would guess out of that top 10 list of strangest proje- products oh. or whatever it is, we guess what number three is on that list. Well, whoever gets it right gets a point. If you're a one away from it, a negative one. If you're two away from it, three away from it, so forth, you get negative points. So we're going to end up in the uh. negatives most likely, but that's okay. It's whoever has the most points in the end. So Trev, I know <laughs> cool. you, you know you do that bank stuff. So I need you to get that calculator, get that math going, uh, get that count. You need to count for me because I, I got a brain of a a dumb ape, a dumb a dumb dirty ape. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm I'm pulling up a spreadsheet right now, dude. <laughs> Sweet dude, thanks. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what we're going to be doing. That we're going to score to the end. Uh, then we'll also talk. We'll talk through why we're thinking that this is. Uh, our choice for each one of these lists. Then we'll even talk about the list itself if we want to, if we find them interesting. Word. So thank you, List First, for the list. We are going to get nasty. We're going to get into this. Hopefully it's entertaining for all Ooh, of you. We're going to get nasty. I, <laughs> oh, it's going to get Sweet. real dirty. Me and Trev. I mean, there's a lot on the line here. A shovel knight amiibo, folks. And a hunter to boot. Oh, oh, and it's out of 10. So we're going to do 10 lists. So whoever whoever gets the most points out of this. So 10 rounds. Here we go. List one. 10 most out of place celebrity cameos in a video game. So here's the top, here's the 10 choices that we have, Trev. My, so you might think to yourself, how did you get these 10 choices? How did you not yes. look at the list? Cheater. Right? I had my wife, I had my wife do this for me. Oh, so she did okay, it in no okay. specific, no specific order. She just grabbed them and put them in. So there's, these are in no specific ah, she's order. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetie. Cool. All right. So first that we can choose from Gary Coleman. And Postal 2. Number two, Fred Durst from Fight Club and other wrestling games. Number three, Justin Bieber in NBA 2K13. <laughs> Number four, General Petraeus in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Number five is Michael Jackson in Space Channel 5. Number six is the Clintons in Ready to Rumble Round 2, <laughs> which is pretty great. Uh, number seven is Shrek and Tony Hawk. Uh, underground two number three is danica patrick in sonic all-star racing number nine is drew carey in the sims and number 10 barack obama in mercenaries two <laughs> now all all okay. of these people do exist this is a real list all these people have cameos in games which is amazing because barack obama and mercenaries two i played I mercenaries no two and i had no idea what am i doing with my life all right trap so That's here's funny. the question okay here's the question what's number two on this list. So number two of like the most popular. So not the most popular, but the second most popular. Correct. Yeah. So out of a top 10 list, which one do you think would be on number two place? Looking at it, we got oh Barack gosh. Obama, Drew Carey, Danica Patrick, Shrek himself, the Clintons, Michael Jackson, uh, General Betrayus, Justin Bieber, Fred Durst, and Gary Coleman. I'm going to go seven Shrek in Tony Hawk's Underground 2. So you're going to say Shrek is number two on the list. Correct. What about you? I'm going to go with, it's either the Clintons or Barack Obama. That is my thought. I'm going to go with 
the Clintons for number two the on the Clintons list. at number two on the list, Trevor. Okay, it's get, getting real. Number two Ooh. on the list. Oh my gosh, with an upset, Shrek in Tony Hawk Underground oh, Two. Trevor, are you for real? Yeah, dude, dude, getting a point. Mother, <laughs> are you kidding Shrek, me, dude? <laughs> So little did you know that I planned this with your wife. She's like, I don't want that little statue in our house. She's like, I want to get rid of that little <laughs> hunter figurine statue set thing. So she let me know all the answers. Just to okay, let you know right now. Okay, I, I'm feeling burnt now. I'm feeling real burnt. Dude, that bums me out. I was oh, sure that's of it. Awesome. So, all right. So how do we point this thing? Okay, so you get one point. So you're plus one. Okay, so I now, get plus one. Now for me, I am. I chose the. Did I choose the Clintons, Trev? Yeah. Okay. You said Clintons so, in Ready to Rumble or Ready. So yeah, Clintons ready to in Rumble. Ready to Rumble was number four. So I was two away. So negative two points for me. Okay. Okay. I got oh, it on bud. the sheet. God, that's <laughs> depressing, Trev. General Petraeus, dude, is number one. General Petraeus, which really? is interesting. Yeah, okay. I would like. I could see that. that. I could see. I that. I guess it's it's weird. I guess it's wacky. That's something you want to think of. Shrek, though. I don't know. That's cool. I don't know. All right, Trev. Just went with my All right. gut. My gut no, was just singing right. Shrek songs, dude. You're right, dude. Uh, you got a whole bunch of Smash <laughs> Mouth going on in there. That's great. Uh, list number mm. two: top ten overrated video games. Now we're looking okay. for. The question is, what is number four on this list? Top ten overrated video games. Ooh. Our choices okay, okay. are. Skyrim, Halo, Call of Duty 4, GoldenEye 007, any Sonic Hedgehog game, uh, Gears of War, Final Fantasy, any Grand Theft Auto game, any Guitar Hero game, and Assassin's Creed. What is oh, the boy. most overrated game? Not the most, number four on the most what overrated game. the games. fourth most overrated game? Oh boy, Devin, you answer first this time. Okay, let me look through this. Let me look through this. Okay, overrated, man. These are not overrated games. These are whoever made this say, list. A lot of these, jeez, man, haters Ooh. be hating. All right, uh, I, I have okay. mine. I have my Do answer. You? Okay, yeah. Uh, you go ahead first because I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not locked yet. All right, mine is Gears of War. Oh, Trev, that's a good one. Which is okay. weird because, like, I'm like I I like. I mean, the it's Gears good, but games, that's a good so. one. That's a good one. I'm gonna go with. Uh oh man, I'm going to go with five. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Final <laughs> Fantasy. Final okay. Fantasy. Okay. Final oh, Fantasy. Boy, that, that, oh, I should have. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Okay. <sighs> and the results are for number four. Dun 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 dun. It is. Oh, I should have done it. It is Call of Duty 4. I knew oh, it. I knew they really? were going to put, I knew they were going to use the four with the four. Moses. Yeah. Uh, uh, you should have gone with your gut, dude. dude All right. So okay. what's our points? What are we? What are we okay. Are we so get Trev, out of this? you are Gears of War, which puts you at, si- that was number seven. So you Ooh, are. So minus three. Yeah. Minus three for you. I was Final Fantasy, Ugh. which was number six, which is minus two for me. Oh, buddy. Gross. Now, now, people, to let you know what's going on with this list, Halo is the most overrated game of all time, number one. Uh, second, Skyrim. So, Trav, Miyamoto gave you false news. I want you to know that for a fact. Uh, number three Dang is it, Golden Eye Double. <laughs> number three, Golden Eye Double Seven. Son- Why is Sonic not like the most overrated to me? It doesn't make sense. I, but okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm with you there. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, I, to give you an update as far as like the totals right now, we are rocking. I am I am negative two and you are negative four, my friend. Okay, so it's it's not it's not a <laughs> it's still a barn burner. I have a chance here. Yeah. Okay. You we both could really mess up. The next is a top 15 list. Now this is okay. round three, top 15 list. This is 15 most brilliant video game music tracks. Now this is specific tracks. Uh, so we got shadow hearts, the fate, whatever that is. I have no idea. Mass effect Two, <laughs> suicide mission, Skyrim, dragonborn. Number four, Bastion, build the wall. Number five is Valkyrie Chronicles, the open cinematic. Number six is B 
Beat Mania Avatar Avent Avent yeah Avent Guerrier. Sorry, y'all, that was rough. Avent Guerrier. Seven is World of Warcraft: Seasons of War. <laughs> <laughs> Near Hills of Radiant Winds is next. Journey of Nasir. This is weird. Dude. This is a hard one, Trev. This is going to be a hard list. Number ten is Beyond Good and Evil: Home Sweet Home. Eleven is World of Warcraft: Seasons of War. Twelve is Beyond Good and Evil again. Home Sweet Home. Oh, we did it twice. The wife messed up, y'all. That's okay. Number 13, Pirates of the Burning Sea, Tides of Fire. Number 14 is Halo, the main theme song. And number 15 is Command and Conquer, the Hell Song. Not to be mixed Ooh, up with some 41. Yeah. <laughs> Love yeah. Hell Song. Love yeah. Hell Song. Uh, okay. So, Trev, so this is num- I'm num- putting my number flag. One. Number one of you, t- it- you d- Trev. Trev. Are you going to take number one off? <laughs> Are you going to be the first to vote every time? You see what um, I'm saying? You here? know what? We can vote for the same one. We can vote for the same one. Okay. I so just so you guys know, in the Google Doc, I put a T next to Halo main theme song. So I put my flag in the ground. Devin, you can choose the same one if you want. It is all up to you, dude. The choice is dude. yours. I mean, I'm I I personally listen. It's a bet. I'm gonna bet. Like I'm already betting. I'm already lost. I know Halo's it, but I'm gonna go with Skyrim Dragonborn. That's mine. What? Yeah. Okay, that's a good I, one. Uh, it's a good oh, one. Listen, I know right, I'm, I'm I know I'm a fool. I know I'm a dummy, but that's what I'm gonna go with. I know. I know. Here it goes. Oh, it's looking good for me. It's looking good for me. Yes. Oh, are you for reals? Ah, Devin, really? Trev, you got hit hard, dude. You got hit. Are you for reals? Yes, you got hit hard. Oh no. I'm sorry, dude. That breaks my heart. Yeah. So I'm number one, Skyrim Dragonborn. So that's a plus one. You gotta be kidding. So you get a plus one. I got that one. Dude, All guess right. how far back you are. Guess how far back no. you are. No, 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 no. You Minus are. 10? You are. Oh, I'm still going up. You are number twelve on the list. Out of oh, fifteen, you've got to be kidding? Yeah, I'm not joking. Ugh. Number twelve. What a joke. I'm sorry. What? Oh, dude, <laughs> that you beast. <laughs> oh, okay, so a- so minus twelve then, right? Or uh, minus, minus 11. What is 11. it? Yeah, minus 11. Minus yeah, 11. Because okay. you're going back from uh, there. So now it's minus 13 for me, minus 3 for you. Oh my gosh, oh, that one sucked. Trav, you How was redeem. Halo? How was Halo not the very top song? That boggles my mind. This list is wrong. Oh, dude, dude it makes me so mad. This, <laughs> no, you, this oh. list must have come out when <laughs> Skyrim came out, dude. Like, oh my gosh. <sighs> Uh, you're right. Yeah, basically 2014. So closer to Skyrim, not exactly three years well, removed. So I guess not really, but still if you, closer. If you, but Bastion, if you dude, hear is boxes done. in the uh, background, <laughs> it's because I'm already packaging up the dang amiibo. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, dude. Go ahead. Bastion was number. Bastion was number two. If people are wondering, that that is a good song, but is not better than Halo. That's insane. We've played that before in our episodes. Uh, yeah, this is weird to me. This is crazy. Okay, whatever. All right, That's let's insane. screw that one. Okay. All right. All Trev, right. It's going on to the next one. Uh, number four. Redemption for Trev. Everybody, pray for him. Pray for him. <laughs> yeah. Fingers freaking crossed, man. Pray- prayers for Trev. Uh, the top ten best written video games. Here are the nominees: Half Life, Silent Hill Two, Deus Ex, Braid, Mass Effect Two, Bioshock. Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Portal, Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy, and Shadow of the Colossus. These are the 10 best written video games. Uh, We are looking for number six on the list, Trev. Number six on the list. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. Okay. I'm going to say um, the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Okay. Okay. That seems like a number six. Okay, I'm going to go with, yeah, with this list, you have no idea. It's whack territory. Uh, I'm going to go with Indigo, no. Yeah, I'm going to go with Indigo Prophecy. 
Okay. All right. Oh, I, oh gosh. I hope that's true. It's so weird that I'm like, it probably is like number one. Okay. Here we go, Trev. Well, yeah, I know a lot of people are like that game. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh. Number six. Oh, you son of a gun. He comes back from the heavens. Oblivion <laughs> is number six oh, on the list. Freak yes. Thank goodness. What, <laughs> how many points do you lose? I hope it's 10. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Plus one for you, Trev. Plus one for you. Okay. Uh, for me, I am. Where am I? Indigo Prophecy is no, number four. So I'm two removes. So minus six for me. Minus six. Uh. Oh, dude. Okay. I made a little ground there. I am negative 12 and you are negative nine. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So here's number one, best friend game, Half-Life, well, which is good. I Half-Life 2, I would say Half-Life 2 is better. Yeah, but okay. Half-Life 2 for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but all right. Uh, Deus Ex is second, and number three would be Silent Hill really? 2. Yeah. So, huh. sure. Weird, but okay. Okay. You do I would have said Portal is better than probably yep. both of those. I, but. I would say Portal 2 is better than all of those. But okay, <laughs> sure. We all have opinions. Some That's of them awesome. are wrong. List first seems to be mostly wrong. So it's hard to get in the head of these whack jobs. Like, what are yeah. they thinking? I. I'm almost like, dude, when was this written? I need to get in the mindset. No, it, this is good. I like this. This is fun. Because then it's honestly, it's like just a freaking guess. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Okay. So we're going to number five. We're halfway through. Uh, the top 10 video games that impacted gaming. That is what we're going on. Top 10 video games that impacted gaming. The nominees are Super Mario Brothers, Legend of Zelda, World of Warcraft, Halo, Grand Theft Auto 3, Farmville, mm, Tetris, <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy VII, <laughs> StarCraft, and EverQuest. These, and we are looking for number two on this list. Number two. Number two. Dude, I feel like any of these could be number two. Uh, yeah, with these psychos, who knows? Dude, I'm going to get weird. Okay. You go first, though, Dev. Okay, I'm going to go Tetris. I'm going to get strange and say Farmville. Oh, it probably is. Dude, you're being nasty because that, that's what they did last time. Okay, here we go, Trev. Okay. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in as I go down the list <laughs> and see where we have failed. Number two, World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we should have done that. Should have done that. Yeah. That's a solid list. Listen, they're freaking us out now. List first is making me th- second guess everything I'm yeah, doing. They're in our That's heads. Crazy. They're in my head. I need to. I need to clear the thoughts. Uh, so, Trev, where are we at? You ask. Farmville is mm-hmm. ahead of me for four, number four. So that is negative two for you, my friend. Right for me is right behind. I'm at number five, so that's negative three for me. Oh, dude. Okay, negative 14 to negative 12. Oh, it's a close race. (laughs) Okay. So on that list, the most influential, obviously, is Super Mario Bros. If they didn't say that, I would go ballistic. Uh, Number three was Legend of Zelda. Farmville was number four. And number five was Tetris. All right. Cool. So that is that. Number six, round six, fight. This is another. Uh, bing, bing. <laughs> this isn't another fifteen, Trev. So we can get real hurt on this one. This is where you uh, got the most damage. Dude, this, this can happen to me I too. Know. Oh, this uh, makes okay. me sick. All right, Trev. The list: all top right. fifteen video game franchises of all time. The nominees are Doom. Sports games? What the frick? Sports games? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not a franchise. Just, just in general. Sports games. Sports games. Uh, Star Wars, Legend of Zelda, Halo, Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, Resident Evil, uh, Mortal Kombat, Mega Man, Metroid, Grand Theft Auto V, Pac-Man, Final Fantasy, and Castlevania. Ooh, we are looking boy. for number three on the list. 
This is the top 15 video game franchises. We are looking for number three. Okay. I think I know what the one and two are. So I'm like, I'm like, where's three? Oh, no, 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 no. Because I've seen Grand Theft Auto. Things have changed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm ready. All right. I'm going. Uh, you go. Because I, I won last time. You go first. Okay. The Legend of Zelda. All right. I'm going to go with the two. I think it's Legend of Zelda. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And number three on the list is Resident Evil. So, okay. okay. All right. Real quick. I want to know one and two, just because I'm curious. Number one, Mario. Number two, Legend of Zelda. So we're both negative one. So we add negatives on both of those. Negative one right there. Okay. Uh, so we're, yeah, close. We were close. They were close. We were close. Not bad. Halo was number four. And number five, Sonic the Hedgehog, which is greater than Grand Theft Auto for some reason. I'm not sure I why. Guess. But okay. I mean, he's been around longer. Come on. I, you know. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't have better games, but okay. That's something. He's been, he's been around the block. <laughs> but he's there. Oh, okay. Resident Resident Evil above Halo. Halo. Okay. That, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Halo's kind of. All right. Cool. All right. Whew. It's number seven. Okay. Top most expensive items sold that don't actually exist. So this is the most expensive (laughs) item in a video game. So top 10 most expensive item in a video game. First, we got Echoing Fury Maze from Diablo 3. Next up, we got Amsterdam Second Life. Sword from Age of Wulin. Four is Crystal Palace Space Station from Entropia. Uh, Number five is Planet uh, Collapso from Entropia. Holy crap. Club and Never Die from Entropia. Uh, That's probably not how you say Entropia. Entropia? I don't know. Uh, Number seven is Ethereal Flames War War Dog from Dota 2. Uh, eight would be Counter Strike Global Offensive skin. Then we got Zizu World of Warcraft and Revenant Super Carrier from Eve Online. So this is the hmm. most expensive item. We are looking for number nine on the list. What is the ninth most expensive item? Okay, and this is like real world money. Like someone paid to have this dumb thing. Exactly. Oh boy. And we're looking for like almost to the bottom of this list. Yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. I got mine, I think. Okay, I'm thinking of popularity of the game. I'm thinking Mm -hmm. that as a factor. I'm thinking EVE Online has to be number one because people that play that game are freaking insane. Yeah, Um, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I am going to go... Oh, okay, you go first. You go first, Dad. Okay, I'm going Diablo 3. That's going to be mine. Diablo 3. Echoing okay. Fury Mace. Okay, I am going to go... Oh, I hate this. I'm just... Okay, um, this is just a shot in the freaking dark. I'm going do it, with dude. Planet Calypso from Entropia. Entropia. Entro- yeah. Entropia. <laughs> okay, so we are looking for number nine, and number nine on the list is Zizu from World of Warcraft with 10K. Oh, this is not good. Really? Oh, yep. crap. So that's $10,000 for that item. Me and Trev, where are we on the list, you ask? All Ugh. right. I am I am a negative one. I am next on the list. Oh, I'm you got to be kidding. I am eight. So that's Echoing Fury Mace, Diablo 3. Trev okay. is all the way down at the bottom of the list. Was it the which one was it, Trev, that you decided to do? Play oh Trevor. Uh, oh, Calypso. Trevor. Yeah. What? That's number one, dude. Are Planet you for real? Yeah. Planet Calypso from Entropia. What is this game? I have no idea. But dude, this item is six million dollars. That someone spent real money for the stupid thing. Real money, yeah. Six million dollars. Oh, oh my gosh, that is insane. You gotta be kidding. So that's that's minus eight then, right? Or yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, minus eight uh, and minus one for me. Where are we at at oh the scores? Oh my gosh, I don't even want to say. My okay, minus twenty three and minus fourteen. <laughs> I shouldn't have took it a guess. I shouldn't have took the guess. 
Oh my gosh, that makes me sick. Yeah, I was looking at Entropia. I was like, man, that must be expensive because all all three of them are the, the ones that are the most expensive. Second is six hundred and thirty five. Well, that was Entropia, and the third is uh, three hundred and thirty thirty thousand. So those are, yeah, hundreds of thousands of dollars that what people spend that and game? millions. After that, you got Second Life, which is at fifty k, and then uh, yeah, Dota two was thirty eight k. That's crazy, dude. Whoever is spending this oh. much money, six million dollars? No, so, bad, dude. Get just bad give boy. It to me. <laughs> Spray the bottle in the face. What are you doing? Good heck. Oh my. All right, Trev. That's <laughs> oh, miserable. Kidding, I'm dude. sorry, dude. I'm oh, sorry. That, that was a sucks. blow. I'm looking that at screenshots blow. of this game. Uh huh. It looks interesting. It looks a little weird. <laughs> I don't know. Trev, no. <laughs> no. Do I'm not. downloading it already. <laughs> I hey I I need to try the game that cost me my amiibo okay I need to see what this is all about yep you gotta waste a little bit more money on this game wow that's insane okay <laughs> let's go to the next uh, top ten most outland outlandish video game mechanics so the most outlandish video m- game mechanics they are as follows Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. Uh, let your enemies die of old age. That is the mechanic. Let your enemies <laughs> die of old age. Second is from Undertale. Characters remember your choice even when you delete your saves. That's Undertale. Number three, Fallout series. Intelligence really matters. I guess that's a mechanic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Number four, uh, Vampire. The Masquerade Bloodlines playing as a Malkavian? Malkavian? Malkavian. Malkavian. Malkavane. <laughs> Who knows? Malkavane. <laughs> Whatever that means, they did it. Uh, next up is Bushido Blade. Oh, Bushido Blade, which is fight with honor or die. Whatever mechanic that is. Uh, near Autonoma, crashing the game is a feature. Number seven is the Stanley Parable, refusing to play the game. Number eight, Zelda. Its hardest puzzle is also its easiest puzzle. Number nine, Virtual reality, curiosity killed the cat and you. Whoa, don't. Okay, don't. They're going to kill you <laughs> in that virtual reality game, dude. And number Unplug. 10. Unplug. Yep. The Elder Scrolls 3 Marowind, anyone can be killed. These are outlandish mechanics. So number 10 is the one we are trying to find. Out of all these mechanics, what is the least outlandish? The least outlandish Hmm, outlandish. I'm thinking like Fallout intelligence really matters. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Um, what's the, I, and then also I think Elder Scrolls because Me too. anybody can be killed. That's like a norm, like, I don't that's know. Like Grand Theft Auto, like dude. Game, well, I guess not like NPCs and stuff though. I feel like oh, that yeah. can like break that's a lot of true. games. That's true. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The Zelda one, its hardest puzzle is its easiest. What is this, like a puzzle in itself? That's referencing. I think so. I think it's a riddle. <laughs> I think it's a riddle. Yep. Let's try to figure this one the out. The answer Trev. is blue. <laughs> I believe you're right. Blue Link? Is that Blue Link? <laughs> oh, yes, it that's is. What I'm gonna, uh, that's what I'm going to go I for, Trev. I'm going to go with Zelda on this one. Okay, hardest puzzle so is the easiest. All right. And then I... <clears throat> All right. I'm going to say Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Anyone oh, can be killed. All right, Trev. That's some risky business. Are you looking at it already? It. No, I'm just saying it's risky business. Oh, I, I feel it like is. it's risky. Okay, I, sorry. Let me get to this one. All right. The, the answer is, as soon as it loads, here we go. Number 10 on the list. Oh, Trev. It's a sad day. No. The winner is myself. Zelda is the hardest puzzle you and is also bubble. its easiest. <laughs> Okay, there's a one, one point for you. All right, Trev. And you, my friend, are number five. Ugh. So minus four. Ugh. Dude, you're really pulling away, dude. Sorry. 